All right. Hello, everybody. It's time for Animal Crossing. I don't have my uh, usual overlay because <laughs> I woke up this morning and my face was completely fine. I took a nap. I woke up from the nap pretty much right now and uh, just plain as day zit for lack of a better word right on my cheek. I'm like, okay, great. We have Boomer. There he is. Very special announcement. DIY veterans can now take part in the customization workshop. Customized. Interesting. I think that was in the direct at some point. But yeah, so... No one wants to look at that. <laughs> I think so we're going without it I think that's fine so <clears throat> hey I'm Marine Gavin I just drank <clears throat> water so yeah and just like yesterday I only have until six so you know an hour and 30 minutes or so so I actually did some things <laughs> off stream yesterday um the wreath on the door, I learned you can do that after seeing one of my friends have that. I got reactions from Phoebe, because she did something like this, and I think she's gonna give me more. No. How do we make this place more welcoming? Are you gonna give me a project? No? What's this? This is springy ride-on. This what? I'm, I would know where this springy ride-on goes. <laughs> Can I get on it? I want to get on it. Hmm. And where would this be the best... Also, I think I actually have to, uh, get villagers to go in here. Either that or they come daily. So, we might have to actually go on one of those tours. Look, for all the game knows, I could be a child. Oh, they have to do rocks. Does anyone know if villagers just come in one by one or if they can come in all at once? Well, no, because... Someone, uh, someone who isn't time traveling got the residential services thing upgrading today. I saw on Twitter. Yeah, what I did was, uh, did you hear that? Hold on. Wrong. I'm just gonna. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been really not good. Uh, <laughs> I, I still haven't deweeded everything, but what I did do was uh, start crossbreeding flowers, or at least trying to. Uh, you know, because they need color. So I figured over here would be good since it's the most secluded place on the island. Also, I learned that apparently this is the mouth of the river, even though it's where it's exiting into the ocean. Not, not my problem. Um, get back here. I'm gonna need money. So yeah, you can go to everyone's islands and buy their two things on the table that never despawn. And, uh, all their wallpapers and stuff. So that's kind of what I was doing last night. Uh, I th oh, shit, was that a thing I haven't seen before? <laughs> I got- Aki, uh, actually had this trike, this tricycle from, uh, like one of her items that goes away and I'm like, you're gonna, you're gonna take this? And I'm like, she's like, no, you can have it. And I'm like, yeah! <laughs> hey, toasty buns. All right, I, I've, I've been explaining my island. I haven't even looked at anything. One by one, maybe. Yeah, I mean, but you know, it's a it's a video game. A child can be a mayor. 
<laughs> I mean, it could be the river ass. Like, that's, that's the thing, you know? Anyway, I changed this up. I figured I should put this here because I was sick of the center of my house not having anything in it. And if you look at my room, like, <laughs> ever since I lived at my house, my, uh, my desk has always been facing away from the door to have some amount of privacy. So I figured, why not do it here? Because, you know, it's, clo it's closer. Um, got a hamster. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. I made the floor and the wall fancier. Which I think kind of fits my aesthetic more, you know? <laughs> and isn't as ugly. And also, there's the, the dolly, which was at someone's house. Alright, let's see what's in the mail. Lots of furniture I ordered, right? Kevin sent me something. Hold on. Do you hear another... So I think the thing that makes that sound isn't a frog, but a mole cricket. I think I found this. Do you hear that though? I think I hear one. When did Nintendo get its start making Hanafuda cards? It definitely wasn't the 20s, right? Because I was going to make some joke about how something Nintendo made could actually have been popular then, but, you know, probably not. Okay. Fresh. That's the sip one. Take a sip. Wait, 1800s? Really? Interesting. So I could still be right. Just want to thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, <laughs> but thank you for choosing us all the same. We hope you enjoy this bit of custom DAL merch. Is it the shirt? I think I saw Eugene wearing. Kevin, this joke isn't funny. Kevin, you gotta stop with that joke. Even though I did make that joke. <laughs> I forget what it was, but it was like, so no something, and then the, the gif of the dude throwing the thing. A chalkboard? Wait, who sent me the chalkboard? I actually like that. KK Country? I got that. Oh, the chalkboard was the... the balloon. That's what it was. Man, that, that's ridiculous, Nintendo. The 1800s. Wasp head model? Ex Ex Kevin? <laughs> so head? Kevin. Hose reel. Actually, the hose reel would be great to put over here. I didn't even think about that. I was just gonna put it outside someone's house, but I actually do like it. Like the idea of it being down here. If I ever want to like catch bugs, then uh, this is probably the place to come, right? There's the orchid mantis again. I need you. Uh, I have another one, right? <laughs> I'm just here to tend to the flowers, dude. But it looks like one of them is actually starting to cross-pollinate. I forget which one, but... It's like white and white gets you something, and then red and yellow gets you something. Of course, it was from a New Leaf guide, so I don't know how accurate it is now. And it only said next to- oh no wait, here's another one, I didn't even realize. Voice crack, because I just woke up from a nap. Um, okay, where's that hose? It's okay, Kevin. Working is completely fine. Um... Oops, scared that beetle away again. Uh, Alright, let's 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 see what- actually, I can just place things down outside now, I completely forgot. <laughs> Never mind. Not this thing, apparently. Actually, this one probably goes on the wall, which is kind of funny, but... Yeah, I need to get blue- you need blue to get black? Interesting. 
It's like I do need blue and black though. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Kevin, I hope you don't uh, take me re-gifting that to someone else the wrong way. Actually, we could kind of treat it like a cursed object and just keep sending it to people. But who do I send it to? Also, where do I put the chalkboard? Maybe I'll put the sofa over here and the chalkboard over here. Eh, let's, let's throw the chalkboard here for now. We still have a lot of things to do. I want the chalkboard to be facing here though, so that you don't have to, you know, go like this. It has music on it? Well, I gotta, I gotta send it to Carl. There is no way I'm not sending that to Carl. Would accept it in return for a funny gift from you. Okay, but I gotta send this to Carl. Change what's on it later. And yeah, yeah, I can I can always order it again. I want to give it to Carl. <laughs> okay, Kevin. The funny thing is, a chalkboard is perfect because Carl's. Current job is uh, a teacher. He's a teacher, like a music teacher. He goes to people's houses and does that. So let's see, what would be the best? And the, the card Kevin sent it on was just so ugly. <laughs> Which he almost definitely also did intentionally. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, let's just... Carl, teacher. I could do Carl, sensei, but... Uh, exclamation point. Is there not, like, a button? Yeah, there is. ZL? Wrong. Uh, no? Oh. There we go, okay. I was gonna say, it would be really... Awkward if, uh, whoops. There wasn't a button for that. I might just put that other keyboard in. <laughs> Into the switch, just plug it in. Uh, chalkboard. <laughs> Yeah, I need more people to come to my island. And, like, I, I, <laughs> I've just been looking to see whose islands are open every so often, just to see if I can get someone new on the friends list so that I can send them stuff. The fact that you, it doesn't just have everyone on your friends list readily available is really annoying. And this is, it's probably intentional, so that it's like, oh, you know, at least one of you sees each other's island, you know? But still, it's annoying. <laughs> I would argue. So I put this hourglass out here. Just because, you know, as a way to be like, oh, you know, it's like waiting for uh, them to open or something. I want to hoard everything in my house. It's just I'm not too sure how to exteriorly decorate. Wooden block stereo. Yeah, the other one was something that you can craft too. So if you really want to make a lot of money, it's essentially trading money for materials, I guess. I do want to make two stereos because... Oh, a teddy bear. Apparently you can have one outside, and, uh... Hmm. You can have, like... I don't even know what I was saying. Something outside, something inside. <laughs> I have to start getting these fossils sorted. D-A-L-T. I mean, I'm probably not gonna wear it. Uh, let's send the wasp head model to someone. I want to keep the clothes, so that should be fine. I caught a bunch of emperor butterflies while I was doing my flowering. So this should be, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I, yeah, like, I need money to go to people's houses, so 
or not houses, islands, to buy their stuff, so I shouldn't be spending all of this. Also, wait, where did I get 8,000 Nook Miles? I thought I spent them all on... Oh, wait, right, I didn't save that. Because <laughs> the hairstyles weren't actually what I wanted. Like, I think at least um, five different people... So I should take a screenshot of this. I think at least five different people um, commented on how my hair looks like a Christmas tree. Which isn't entirely what I was going for, but, like, I really like it, so... This is a gross... Oh wait, this is just a panel that you could probably customize. I thought it was a gross mirror. I will take it. If it was a mirror, I probably would have left it in here for anyone who wants to come over and buy it. I actually already have a wall clock, so... You know. It's a, that ugly double-sided one. You can always have multiple clocks, you know. Uh, let's see. We don't have much space. I'm actually gonna come back for the wallpapers, because... You know how this goes. Also, speaking of taking a screenshot, I should, uh, go there to go over what I have done. Dun. Uh, let's see... Where do I even start? I don't know what this screenshot is. Maybe I was planting trees and I'm like, I'm planting trees. Uh... Oh, was this a clip? Oh yeah, Moon is title. Okay, now hold on. Uh, what is this screenshot? I don't know. This is Phoebe giving me reactions. Uh, Harvey came by so I could visit his island. I haven't heard good things about Harv's island, but uh... And then Wisp gave me the hourglass. I want to actually get Wisp again. I took this screenshot to be like, I bought these, but I actually didn't buy these. <laughs> Because I didn't think they were worth it. So, yeah, I want to get Wisp again so that I can have him as a picture on my passport. Considering my passport hasn't been updated at all. Actually, how, how do I upgrade that? Like, I can have my wreath right here, you know? Um, I just put it away. I can actually do a reaction as well. Except I don't... <laughs> uh, how do I... How do I even, uh... Go to the Nook phone? Maybe... I don't know, you could probably do a reaction in the camera, right? That's rescue services. I'm probably never gonna need that. Passport. The one that looks like a passport. <laughs> uh, the photo. Take photo. Let's see, how do I turn back? Oh man, do I really need a... Uh, can do reactions. Can I move? I guess I have to be... Oh, I guess I could like do something like this. Can I change my camera angle like this? Is that... <laughs> It's not really doing anything, so I might as well just stand, like, here and do it, right? Okay. <laughs> so much work. For something so trivial. Man, really? Access to zoom in. ZR. His expressions. R is... Oh, look. For the cameras. Oh, wait, no, I can use the D-pad. Oh! Okay. Well, that's nice. Um... How do I take the picture? Plus. I didn't- I didn't think the flowers would actually be in there, huh? Hmm. <laughs> no! This sucks, my mic is in the way of that corner where all the buttons are. Uh, take photo. Phoebe, no. Phoebe, don't do it. I 
actually maybe like if I don't zoom in all the way. Eh, why the zoom out? Maybe something like this is good. Replace this one. <laughs> Perfect! Um, now I have a much better passport photo. Okay, anyway, what am I doing? I'm going home to put all of my shit away so that I can uh, buy wallpapers and floors and maybe get something that's different. I have to put the springy ride on somewhere though. The bear? The bear can go somewhere, I guess. Chill with the hamster. Okay. The cartoonist set? That's what it's called? Wish I could place it on here. That'd be nice. We'll just put it in storage for now because I don't think it belongs on the floor. Seven ball tea. I'm just gonna want to have a big wardrobe. Probably. Simple panel. We'll keep the stupid two-sided wall clock for now. Wasp head model. Okay. Oh, the Orchid Mantis also needs to go into storage. Can I make another net? That'd be nice. First. Not what I wanted. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Okay. Um. I'm probably gonna want iron, right? I forget how you make the good one. Then we go craft. Eventually, this is just gonna become muscle memory, but for now, it's not. I'm just like, oh, what buttons do I press? <laughs> I need to get more iron nuggets, dude. Talk to you with you. Go back into storage. Wrong. Here, move to storage. Okay, now we're good to go. Yes! I have to remember I don't have the webcam on. Okay. So now, we buy wallpapers, we hit rocks, we, uh... Where is that? I'd rather just get one now. I get one of these mole crickets, dude. Uh, who knows? For now, I'm just gonna buy stuff. Buy stuff, hit rocks. We gotta talk to our new villager. I said new villagers, but you know, that's kind of a shot in the dark. Uh, ra Grace, wrapping paper. Okay. Black botanical tile. What is this? Rubber tile flooring? Look at the skulls. I feel like there's someone who would like the skulls. I just have to put my finger on it. I mean, Gavin would, but he doesn't have the game. I have green rubber floor- oh, no, not rubber tile flooring, though. Cute blue tile flooring. Puzzle pieces, an absolute classic. <laughs> 3,000 for the skulls. <laughs> Good 
especially today. I mean, with this corona thing, you probably aren't gonna get that for a week. My Amazon package I ordered like four or five days ago just came today. And didn't come with screws, so it looks like, you know what, I'm just going to the hardware store. Break waiting for that. Uh, let's see. Can I get plus and C? Yes. Alright, let's go back home. To put all this stuff away. Okay, you have- They're like actual beetles, you have to be pretty slow. Gotcha. Yeah, but didn't not didn't the UK shut down uh, like yesterday or something? Your storage is full. Well, for anyone asking if storage had a limit, God, seriously? Ah, uh, <laughs> I guess I could donate some fossils now. Not the post service. We're just gonna move them over. Ugh, the fucking wasp head model. I don't want that taking up storage though. Oh wait, no, he's gonna tell me dinosaur facts. I was gonna say, fossils shouldn't take that long. But then he not, now he tells you dinosaur facts. Does he only say once per dinosaur part you get, or like... That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Like, what if he had a fact for every single part of the dinosaur's body? Uh... Oh, <laughs> man, this is... This sucks. Where do I even dispose of these things? I guess I could sell them. I don't want those flowers, and I have to do the, get the fish. Man, that's actually not a whole lot of storage when you look at it like that, huh? Yeah, I think so. Like, I did get, I did get a dinosaur fact this time. It wasn't just about the body, though. We talked about how its long head helped it uh, do things. I'll get back to you later. But oh, will I? I don't even know which of my trees are gonna be money trees, you know? Honestly, I kinda wanna keep this money. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna give the money back, you know? 1,000 isn't going to get you anything, probably. Just want to find this stupid thing. My poor shovel. See, now it sounds like it's up here. Whatever. Maybe there's a guide for it. Or something. Who knows. Others is probably like, Oh! I missed you! Like, where were you yesterday? I know this museum is like, really sick. I've yet to see it outside of like, the trailers and maybe some screenshots. Entrance is The donation process has been streamlined. We will accept multiple donations all at once. Furthermore, if you wish to learn more about a fossil or fish or bug, you say tell me about this. But will he tell me all the facts if I don't do it uh, one by one? 
Look at all of these. These aren't even all the fossils. It's like, oh shit. These are rare fossils. I might do it one at a time anyway. <laughs> like, what does this tell me about this? Okay, but if I donate it to him one at a time, because I, I wondered if he would tell me about it in the museum. But then I, there might be like signs that also say what he tells you. Like, I, I like want to try doing two at a time. But I, <laughs> I don't know which one I don't really care to hear about, you know? We have two T-Rex things, so that's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's just see. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do I... Will he tell me about it if I, uh, give it to him like this? Okay, there we go. Good old Diplodocus. Wait, is this one I already did? <laughs> I don't know. This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs, the sturdy legs, that magnificent, magnificent tail, and a yeah, I think I did. Center of gravity, yes, 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 okay. So I should have, uh, yeeted this instead, but whatever. I'm like, do I even have time for donations, though? Actually, I'm curious. Let's go down to the fossils and see if that is, you know. <laughs> But Bilus probably won't have his own personal flair on some of these, you know? It'll just say the facts. Man, this place is so dark I can barely see on my TV with how bright it is in my room. It's Jurassic World, right? Is that, is that how that went? Okay, yeah, you need to get the blathers touch, you know? Part of me is like, oh, I can go out and find the other fossils. <laughs> but, you know, so it's 4.30 now, I have like an hour. It, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh boy. Which is like, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wish he would just tell you it when it was complete, because now I don't know which ones I'm going to have donated before. Also, it would have just been better if you could ask about specific parts you have donated, you know? So what what is this? Eusthenopteron? Eusthenopteron? Eusthenopteron. <laughs> Sounds like a... Like, uh, like a medical profession, you know? Like the Eusterop, Don checks your pancreas or something. It's famous for being the link between fish and land animals long before dinosaurs. This is the frog thing? Seems to have strong fins capable of pulling it around areas where water was shallow. When most creatures lived in the sea, they dreamed of land. If not for them, we might not be here today. Imagine, if we not left the oceans, how might fashion and music be different in the aquatic world? How would we resolve differences? Have some sort of ink squirting contest. Champions? And there you have it, fascinating stuff, no? But inklings aren't in the ocean! Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. Like, I was gonna make a Splatoon joke and then I realized they aren't in the ocean. Plusio. A classic. 
Well, I know there was Jurassic Park, but like, wasn't Jurassic World the movie? It was like, I like, know Jurassic Park was on an island, wasn't it? I actually haven't watched Jurassic Park, so you know, <laughs> should surprise no one considering I haven't watched a Star Wars. I've never thought I'd lay his eyes on a pussy asshole. I mean, we should fix a lot of things. Plesiosaurus is a classic. It's an absolute classic of the ancient reptile world. That long, graceful neck, the wee little head, and the plump, turtle-like body make for a striking silhouette. Incidentally, despite the Saurus name, it wasn't actually a dinosaur. I'm an heir. There's surely a majestic sight swimming in those ancient seas. A long-necked rubber ducky. <laughs> I think this is my favorite dinosaur, actually. The Plesiosaur. That's what I have to say about that. At least that was my favorite dinosaur as a kid. I might have to reevaluate now that I'm smarter. And T Rex is such a cliche favorite to have, but <laughs> honestly, I can't help but be fond of it. You know? So the T Rex is the 800 pound gorilla of the dinosaur world, but it likely weighed well over 9 tons. Puppy's turn. This fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur. Yep, <laughs> for good reason. At up to 42 feet long, with banana-sized teeth. Banana-sized teeth? It was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk the earth. It's unclear how fast T-Rex what? It's unclear how fast T-Rex was, since estimates vary wildly. I'm just relieved I will never have to escape one. That's what I have to say about that. You don't know how fast a T-Rex could have been? Can we, like, make guesses with how long its legs are or something? Or is it just, like, with how weird its body is, maybe it had to run in an unpredictable fashion? Brachiosaur. Skull, not sore. Brachiosaurus, whose name means arm lizard. <laughs> was one of the largest herb- Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, with long front legs and elongated neck, it seemed to have specialized in eating plants up high. Last, in order to support its large size, it likely needed to eat more or less every waking hour. What a ferocious forager. It might have been indeed. Why is it called the arm lizard? I thought- I was expecting like- wait. I thought I knew what a, this thing was, but maybe it's actually a dinosaur with really long arms. <laughs> Isn't this like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm like, didn't I? Didn't I already do this? I think I have a full one now, actually. It's the Diplodocus Island. Yeah, I wish they just did told you about it when it was complete. Because <laughs> I'm never going to remember this. The mammoth. Does the mammoth count as a dinosaur? Because I mean, I might have to change favorite dinosaurs then. Ah, mammoths. The bad boys and girls of the ancient mammal world. So bully, so unkempt. They are, of course, most famous for their size, which could be up to 13 tons for the largest male. They were subject to no one's rules. Some species were smaller than modern elephants. <laughs> they just vary in size. Scientists have pondered for years, were mammoths the coolest of all extinct species? Perhaps so. Like, all extinct species couldn't live in the areas that they did. The mammoth is the... Actually, it would be cool to have uh, a mammoth, like, skeleton at the entrance of this place or something. Okay, how do I say this? Mil Milo and Mingia? Or Ma Milo... <laughs> I, I, I'm, I tried, okay?
said to be one of the oldest fish-like animals. He lived well before the dinosaurs. About an inch long, it seems to have had no lower jaw. It is all inspired. It is all inspiring imagining such ancient life. There's much we still don't know. We may yet discover even older organisms with even fewer jaws. They didn't have a lower jaw. But you should tell me why, dude. How we think it did anything. Why it didn't have a lower jaw. Things like that. I could like you could get you could give me a, like a five paragraph essay about these things. The right megalo side. And what, was this one split in half or something? Megalo. Don't say it. Don't say it. Every other streamer has. Don't say it. Oh! No! Thank you for the raid. We're <laughs> we're making donations now because my uh my storage actually ran out of space. So, you know, if anything had to go it would be these. Hey Ryan. The Megaloceros was a relative of the of the deer that lived during the Ice Age. Interesting. It was also known as Megaloceros giganteus, <laughs> which just means deer with large horns. Ooh, I might have to change my favorite dinosaur now. To their name, they were deer with antlers spanning roughly 10 feet across. Wow. While smaller than many dinosaurs, they were not they were nonetheless a very charismatic example of megafauna. We're gonna have to put that at the entrance of Antarctica as well, probably. <laughs> you know, Ice Age and all that. I mean, I don't know if this is uh, the best environment for a riot. Why they're just talking about dinosaurs and stuff. <laughs> Am I reading all of these aloud? Yes. And I'm trying. I'm, it, I'm not doing too well right now. Like, you know, off the llama. <laughs> off. <laughs> off the llama? Like, why do these have such weird names? Off the llama? Yeah, it does have a cap. I'm kind of surprised you haven't reached it. But then again, I've been buying, like, everything. And I'm too afraid to throw half of it out. The adorable, or more than half. Oh, God. Off the llama. Saurus. Cutest of all the itch I sores. <laughs> what makes a large sea dwelling reptile cute, you might ask? I shall tell you. The eyes. The name means eye lizard, and its face was quite dominated by those great orbs. Oh, do you think it was called the arm lizard because uh the the other one, you know, the, the brachiosaur or something? It's called the arm lizard because they thought it had arms and then they actually constructed it and they were like, hmm, let's, let's just not change the name though. It kind of sounds cool. Besides their cutifying effect, these eyes gave the creature great vision, making it a very successful hunter. And no doubt because the big doe eyes rolled prey into a false sense of security. If I was uh, editing this, like for YouTube, then I would uh, probably put pictures of the dinosaurs up. I kind of wish that this game did that because, you know, I have no frame of reference. We did the plus dinosaur, right? I literally was like, oh, it's my like my favorite dinosaur, at least as a kid. <laughs> but I don't know for sure. So just in case. Yeah, the it's the classic. The absolute classic. If it's your favorite dinosaur, you're a normie, because it's so classic. I'm like trying to figure out what I want to send to people. Oh, what? Yeah, what if expanding your house gave you more storage? That would actually be a really good incentive to do it, other than me wanting more rooms so that I could have different themes going so I could put more stuff down. The Spinosaurus was a very large carnivorous dinosaur, roughly the size of a T-Rex. Wait, really? <laughs> I was expecting something small. Unlike its more famous cousin, however, Spinosaurus seemed to have spent a great deal of time in water. Similar to modern crocodiles, this creature lived on a diet of fish and land-dwelling animals. Personally, I'm simply relieved that it did not seek flying prey. Maybe we'll just make this the donation stream. At this point. <laughs> the Quetzal? 
What the heck? Oh. The Quetzal. Hopeless. Probably Co Atlas. <laughs> How's he clapping? The undisputed ruler of the skies, at least during the late. Oh god, I should know this one. Predecessus or something, period. Had a magnificent wingspan of roughly 36 feet, making it one of the largest flying animals ever. While no doubt soared magnificently, we now know that it also crawled on all fours. Oh, like the Tyrex, huh? It's a bit disappointing, really. <laughs> this illustrious sky god scraping on the ground like a common beetle. Say you should never meet your heroes. <laughs> All right, let's go out, find the remaining fossils, um, get some rocks, and then just do some more donations, I guess. Works for me. So if I remember where the rock... Uh, also, let's meet... Uh, let's act, Well, we already met him, but let's talk to, uh, your boy. He should, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they programmed it so they don't leave their house the first day they're here. Which would be nice. Oh yeah, he has to he has to set his house up. Boomer. I call him Cooper. First human. <laughs> I like how he calls me human. Gurgle gurgle. You want a fish to eat? I want Sky? I saw someone get Sky, and I'm like, Sky would be perfect. Maybe just a bunch more penguins. There's Roald. Anyone who watched Roommates will be familiar with Roald. Talk to you, sure. Phoebe, like... Last night, I didn't talk to her for like two hours, and then she made a comment about how, like, Oh, you don't stop talking, huh? <laughs> I did. Wait, what are you? A fly? Ooh, look! Ooh, ooh! They gave it its its gross hand washing animation. Oh no! Wow, what? Maybe you have to come behind it or something? At least you know. I know for sure they spawn on that now. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, rocks, rocks, rocks. What's this? I oh, saw. Put this down. I'm gonna put it next to, uh, services building for now. We can think of a better place for it later, but for now, that works. You know, let's start from the top. From the top. If Eevee seems like one of the common starting villagers. Oops. Seem like, what? Two or three other people with her. We need to go here, I think. Rock around here, yep. I planted that tree there. Just do this. Clay! Oh, that would suck if I didn't pick that up. Also, I want to use my other shovel so that, you know, this one doesn't break. Or that, you know, doesn't break on me. I didn't think that was gonna actually hit it, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, I forgot the money- I'm gonna have the money rock, so I could've put more money in the money hole. Oh well. Yeah, while I'm up here, I should check these upper areas to uh, make sure fossils aren't here. Like, once I'm able to terraform, I might just level the whole place, because it's so obnoxious. Well, no, 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 we're gonna- By the time I get terraforming, I'm definitely gonna get ramps, so... Ramps and slopes and all that, so it actually won't be that annoying. I just really, <laughs> I just really hate using the ladder. That's what it comes down to. The ladder and the pole vault, dude. Not my favorites. Flying down, trying to find fossils. Actually, maybe I should just put a bunch of weeds up here, so that 
Uh, I know for a fact the fossils don't spawn around here. So I to <laughs> go running around like this. I'm just gonna leave those there for now. Do I hear a balloon? Or is that just the wind? It's hard to tell. Let's see. Alright, there's Gulliver. <laughs> Alright, I have to check the beach as well. I think I'm just hearing the sea breeze. Peter, someone put salt in this water. I want to be floatsum. Can I be jetsum? Hey, that's the. Wasn't that the name of my. No, it was dartsum, right? Sounds more rugged. Ah, uh, who's at the helm? Waves, the waves are... Ready the pool noodles. Sorry, Fowl, I already looked at all these... He doesn't have too many of these, huh? Morning or evening? Vision's fuzzy. How are you on this fine whatever time of day it is? Hey, is that my favorite Gwang Love or Christmas? <laughs> Good thing your head is so huge, makes it pretty easy to identify your blurry so Oh god, Gulliver can't see. Do you like to hear how I ended up on your beach this time? Yeah, I thought you might. There I was, battling a dozen, no, two dozen sea monsters. I was holding my own until one of them landed a devastating tickle attack. Sent me tumbling overboard. Sploosh! Battle, flail, borble, borble. Next thing I know, I'm being poked back to life on this very beach with a ladder. Boy, talk about a close call. Can you believe it? Ha! Uh, that's your cue to laugh. Have you heard these before? Well, I'd love to stay in chat for several more hours, but the ocean is calling my name. Time to summon a rescue. Just call for help using my handy dandy, uh... This is probably the same, right? My handy... Oh, no. I was gonna say, again! I'll look for him. Give me your rare item. Let's see, I am wearing... The terry cloth do-rag, the maid dress, the neon tights, and the rain boots. Alright, let's... I think these probably just randomly spawn like this. So I probably don't even have to leave this beach. I'm not sure how true that is. Yeah, I kind of want a more uniform, well, uniform. But for now, it's like just a bunch of colors. <laughs> I'd rather not have the disgusting pale yellow, but it's what I got. Come on, where, where are these things? Always check the pier in case there's a marlin or whatever. A tuna. Whatever fish is on the pier around now. Is there another one over there? Wait, I'm supposed to be using my other shovel. Uh, does it just use any shovel? I didn't really think about that. Here's the bridge. I guess I should just check the <laughs> the whole beach while I'm here. For things like this. Fixed posture. I guess I'm I guess I should lean back is really the problem. I was sitting in the corner of the seat, but uh, I was still leaning forward. Here? Here? This is going a lot better than last time, that's for sure. How many do I have? Probably four, right? Four. I heard it. Is it here? 
You're not a ship part. Probably find furniture to put on this peninsula. When I say find furniture, I mean <laughs> assign furniture. Because I have plenty of it. Like, that's my thing. I don't want to... I have the catalog, but I don't want to throw anything away. You know? Alright, well, I actually didn't get the other rock up there. So we'll just go back to Gulliver now. And then, uh... You're not fooling me, buddy. Rock it up. Check around here for fossils. That's, that's the problem with having as many trees as I do. Unless they programmed it so that <laughs> fossils never spawn directly behind trees, that'd be nice. I'm really not sure which view would be preferred. What do you mean, Kevin? Not too into pixel art. Or <laughs> the pixel art looks ugly. I mean, whenever you see them on the clothes themselves, they look a lot better than, uh, how they seem on the grid, so. I guess uh, while I'm here, I might as well, uh, get this rock. We'll have the two top ones sorted. Custom clothing isn't acceptable to give to other people. Oh, I see. Your venture to do it. Venture capitalism. My, can't you QR code it or something? Because sworn that was a thing, and then you know, people make a design on Twitter, and then someone goes, Oh, can I, you know, can I have this? And they go, Yeah, and then send the thing. I've just been bookmarking those in case I ever want them, but I probably won't. Like I said, I kind of like having uh, what the game has as my preference. Baby, what are you doing all the way over here? I have to, uh... Well, how many fossils did I... No, wait, I picked up four fossils, didn't I? I think I got all four of them. That's good. Woo! Oh, yeah, Mabel. Like, she came into my store, and I figured that she would have gone to the plaza immediately since she was already here, but she just kind of frigged off, and she hasn't been here since. She's supposed to be here, and then you can buy stuff from her. But I figured she would come every day with a small selection of stuff. And that would be your incentive to get the shop because it, she would then have a big selection of stuff. But, uh, does not seem to be the case. Very first ghost. That's a stink bug. I'll keep an eye out. Where am I? I'm over here. Let me see. It's annoying to get to this other monitor when I don't know how the middle screen is. Let's hit up this rock up here. Maybe I should have put all the trees upwards so that it doesn't block the bottom, but... Oh crap, I didn't change my shovel. Now that you, I know you need these iron things for, uh, you know, making good tools constantly, it's kind of annoying. Alright, 
Alright, where am I going? There's Kevin. He's gets he schoolwork though. Speed slacker. Just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm not allowed to say that considering I never did my homework, so. Literally killed it on tests, but never did the homework. This is like, I'm mad your head. <laughs> mad your head. Well, actually, not so much in college. College was a different story, but, you know, in high school, it's like, I'm in your hell institution for six hours of my, like, almost every 24-hour day of my life, and you want me to do more work after that? Like, fuck off. <laughs> Did I say, did I not find a tree near this one? No, they did. It's an interesting grading system. Yeah, just good to do in general. I mean, you know, the reason college is so, uh, is so good is because you'll actually be working on things you care about, except you have to make it through gen eds first, and coincidentally, I didn't make it through gen eds first, because they were gen eds. Not like I knew what I wanted to work on anyway, but still. Like, why? Why? You, I, like, literally just did 12 years of gen eds, you want me to do more? We know why. It's so that they can pad out the amount of time you're there so you spend more money on tuition. But like, you know, that's just how it is. Hey, you have to take another language. It's like, no. Yeah, then, you know, parents and shit. But like, in general, this sea breeze is fucking me. No, that's not a sea breeze. So maybe I did hear one before. Man! <laughs> when in doubt, just remember that there is no wind sound effect in this game. A magic balloon. You say that's probably good enough, right? Silver mic. Can I put it in front of where Tom Nook has his mic? And then we'll have... He'll just be talking into two microphones. <laughs> Hopefully this works. He usually stands... Does he stand here or here? I don't remember. Come along if you like. It's sure to be an adventure... The adventure of a tooth time. The camera, you might not be able to see in front of him. Well, no, no, because I remember seeing a tweet where someone put two signs on either side of where Tom Nook was, and you know, they both said idiot and then had the arrow pointing inward. The gen ends are stupid, and college is stupid. Uh, let's see. Well, that's nice. I could have definitely put more money in my money tree thing. Yay, you found it. I really wanted to make an item as, like, a, an homage to my fave pop star and came up with this recipe. I'll share it with you since you found this bottle. Go get your arts and crafts on. The cutest art is in Apple. Who's Apple? Log Garden Lounge. Huh. Okay. What does it look like? Although, I <laughs> doesn't know if have this or something. What an interesting chair. That's for sure. Uh, right, I gotta put this stuff away. And then take some more stuff out. Screenshot of where Nook stands. Okay, hold on. Uh, 
Maybe I can't get that centered. Oh wait, where's my tambourine? Oh no, I didn't weave that on someone's island, did I? I might have left my tambourine on someone's island. Oh no! I got a tambourine! And I, oh no, where's my tambourine? No! No! I wanted that. Oh my god, seriously? Maybe Aki has it? Might have to ask. You can buy it again. Oh yeah! Yeah. Fucking Animal Crossing music. There's so many paper fake butterflies in here. Uh. Wait, is this it? I thought I had more stuff, but I guess not. Oh, wait, I do have an orchid mantis. Why, 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 when did I get that? Why does the wasp have such a big thing? Fucking oh, bastard. Alright, I guess this is just the bugs for now. So I wonder how much space this is gonna buy me. I'm gonna have to start selling things. Can I get like cabinets and stuff and then have it be like GameCube where it it don't I think this is right. I think it depends on uh you know how many storage closets you have or is this just the only storage i have because i'd be willing to just make the basement storage hell like in roommates considering we don't have gyroids you know how much you can do about that i feel like they're doing i mean no they had to delay the game but <laughs> it's like Gyroids have been a part of the series since the beginning, like, just making it DLC for an event seems like that whole analogy where it's like, how DLC is like, a slice of a cake cut out of a whole cake. They are probably like, let's just get this thing out, make it an event. <laughs> get it out. Now, my museum opened like yesterday or the day before or something, I'm just now doing this, because I- No, it was yesterday, because I didn't have much time yesterday. Yellow butterfly is named for its yellow wings. And that's it. And allow me to note that the female yellow butterfly can lay up to 600 eggs at a time. Insects are fucking terrible. And their creepy crawly caterpillars just love to chomp on clover plants. A recipe for disaster, I say. Just imagine reaching for a four-leaf clover only to touch a larva instead. Well, now look what you've done, Blathers. <laughs> Someone in the history of the world has to have done that, right? And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, this wretched thing, I have a good home. Oops. Tiger butterflies are known for their majestic wings, which many consider quite beautiful. Truth be told, I find them monstrous. Those strange striped patterns, they give this owl the goosebumps. He really hates bugs, dude. He will not- he will never give them an inch for anything. Like, I think the wings look good, <laughs> even though I hate bugs. And while you may imagine young tiger butterfly larvae look like lovely green caterpillars, it's not so. Why, when tiger butterflies are but babes, they're covered in unsightly white, brown, and black spots. That's pretty gross, huh? In this way, they camouflage themselves as bird dropping. <laughs> Well, there's just going in the toilet and then going. Well, with its black and white striped wing pattern, the paper kite butterfly is both elegant and pretty. Pretty poisonous, I mean. Oh dear, where was I? Even this butterfly... Even this butterfly is... Black and white striped larvae and little golden pupae are toxic to predators. Interesting. Indeed, the paper kite butterfly's foul flavor is famous. 
And those birds in particular steer clear of the beans. This bird, most of all. What was that face he did with that pose? I have a ways to go, so. <laughs> Tell me why this thing is so expensive. The Emperor Butterfly is called the Jewel of the Forest, but it's vivid view, blue hue, ew, let me tell you. The color does not come from a dye, but rather from light reflecting off layers of translucent scales. Its butterfly wings are covered in tiny scales. Scales? Butterfly? Even more like snake of the sky. Pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Now what the mantis's angelic pose fool you, for it's truly monstrous. The mantis is known for its large size and tremendous strength, and for sickle-like arms that pack a punch. Now they tend to eat bugs and spiders. Mantises have been known to dine on small animals too? Really? Those eerie eyes, don't mind. Do you know that there's five of them? Two big ones and three small? Faint to think of it further. Like, do they, do they eat hamsters? Or something? Orkin Mantis is a bug whose brilliant colors and petal-shaped limbs give it the look of a flower. Masterful mimicry allows it to hide among predators and, and among orchids. orchids. <laughs> But oh, this fraudulent flower, it lures other insects in to drink its nectar and makes a meal of them instead. Imagine, we held a beautiful bud, only to discover it's a bug instead. Quite a repulsive revelation indeed. Hummingbirds? Oh, poor hummingbirds, dude. Dwarf Roach is an omnivore. Actually, hold on, give me, give me one second here. I moved the mic to the side of the webcam, <laughs> so that's more in my face. And in the process, knock the webcam down, I can't fix it. So, whatever. The wharf roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying that it'll eat almost anything. The skittering scavenger and its uncouth appetite help keep beaches clean, it said. I dare say their long antenna and bulging eyes turn my stomach. Appetizing indeed. So like the cleaners of the beach, huh? I mean, what do they clean out? Just like a bunch of other shitty animals. <laughs> when I see Chris in all caps in chat, it sends off like sirens. Oh, what is it? It sounds like, like all right, no. What is it? You you have a one hundred percent on brand present. Are you gonna send it to me? Actually. Do gifts sent through the mail like that come instantly, or do I have to wait the next day? I don't think it matters too much. I, I'm just going to donate and then end stream, so. We're not going to other islands yet again. The tiger beetle is extremely fleet of foot, though it runs in a rather peculiar way. As it sprints, then stops, then sprints again, using these speedy maneuvers to run down its right. It's like the Swerve Star. Hell yeah. See, the tiger beetle, like a real tiger, is a powerful predator. Mere thought of it giving chase of a giving chase gives me the willies. Was it faster than a house centipede? Because god, those things are fast and I hate them. Those are so fast. Instantly. Ooh, cool. You think that they would uh make it an overnight thing for the realism, but <laughs> I guess they'd be 
they'd be like, well, you know, people would just try to coordinate dropping it off anyway or something like that. I mean, doesn't he kind of do that? Where he's like, oh, it's beautiful, but then, but, but then he's like, oh, but they're actually made of scales. Disgusting, you know? He's, but still remain factual. Yes, yes, ladybugs are quite beloved thanks to their tiny round shape and adorable spots. That I say, bah. I don't like ladybugs anymore. The fact of the matter is, some have stripes instead of spots. Really? Some have no markings at all. I have seen no markings at all, but not stripes. Now, I shall never understand why he said that when a ladybug lands on you, you'll have good luck. I only have a feigning spell. Okay. Bugs are fine if... Bugs would be fine if I knew that I had a magic force field where they would never touch me. <laughs> then I'd be fine with them, but... I just don't want bugs to touch me. That's the, that's the big thing. A man-faced dog. Never mind the stink bug smell. What you have here is a bug with a face. On its back! Simply put, the man face stink bug has markings on its shell that resemble a human face. What's that- what's that phenomenon? That, uh, humans tend to see faces in things where, like, it just only slightly resembles a face? Basically this. Once you notice this face, you cannot unnotice it. Indeed, this face will haunt you forever. This is what sculptures are based off of. <laughs> At least the face will distract you from the stink. Yes. I dare say the name says it all. Stink bugs are known for their stench. Who pee y'all? Is that what he said? Probably pee you. As it happens, these crop-eating pests use straw-like mouths. Straw-like? Oh, ew, gross. To pierce plants and drink the juices. And when threatened, they use a smelly chemical in their belly to release their odorous odor. Ugh. Do they live with themselves? And then they also play melee. <laughs> uh... Ooh, allow me to share a fact with you. Wasps are sometimes called meat bees because they eat meat. I didn't know this actually. Meat of almost any sort. Really, you've seen what a menace they make of them. They make of themselves at picnics. It's hardly the worst of it. Aggressive predators with venomous stingers. Wasps not only hunt and eat other insects, they paralyze their prey and drag their victims home alive, leaving them for, for their larvae to feed on. That way, a simple sting seems quite tolerable. <laughs> it's like, if you leave ham out for them, will they eat it? <laughs> I'm very curious about this meat eating thing. Or is it just like bug meat? Probably just bug meat. No, it's all meat, okay. Well, there's you can't say mean things about the honeybee. Do you know it takes a team of honeybees working together to transform their flower nectar into honey? The forager bees suck nectar from flowers into their honey stomachs, then fly to the hive. Hive bees then chew the substance and spit it into the honeycomb, fluttering their wings to dry it out. As you could say, honey is a tasty tribute to the hard work of the humble honeybee. So honey is like when birds eat up their prey and then give it to their babies. That's gross. He's like, you think he would say that? You must have confused my lengthy description for admiration. At the end of the day, honeybees are still insects and thus still ghastly. A wee bit less ghastly than most, I admit. <laughs> That's so funny. The... The writers were like, well, we can't say anything bad about the honeybee. We gotta, uh... We gotta put a good light on them so that people stop killing them. <laughs> Snails are not insects, I'll admit. But they're just as revolting to me. Snails are mollusks, you see, and are born wearing shells they cannot remove. Instead, their shells get bigger and bigger as they grow. Whew, they must get heavy, don't you know? Don't you think? I suppose that's why they need a trail of mucus to move about. A really foul form of transportation. I want to learn new things. Uh, 
Oh, bug. Children delight at the way these beasts roll into balls when poked. It's like bugdom. Remember bugdom, everyone? But the appeal is utterly lost on me. One look at their leggy undersides. Ugh. Ugh. Now they wriggle. Young pill bugs shed their exoskeletons as they grow. And in doing so, sprout another pair of legs. As if 12 appendages weren't alarming enough. Yuck, I say. Yuck. They get new legs from that? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you actually remember Bug Dumb. <laughs> you should watch the Bug Dumb speedrun. It's so funny. The centipede's name means 100 legs. I'll tell you now, that's a lie. These ugly bugs can have as few as 15 pairs of legs or as many as 171. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they will never have exactly 100. Oh, really? You know what else is true? Centipedes are carnivores. Carnivorous. Yeah. Aggressive and venomous. Their bite is quite painful, too. Like, to people? That's interesting. Be sure to steer clear of those. Centipedes sound worse than spiders in that regard, huh? Centipedes, like, uh... Like spiders, probably don't want to bite you, you know. Just don't smack them. Do you think there are people who don't donate anything to the museum? And just like sell it all? <laughs> the fucking Diplo is still here. Oh my god. Do, do like... Islands just have one dinosaur that's so common. How do you even say this? Say Ione? We had Bugdom at like a computer at our school. So it's like when it was lunch and recess, you could play Bugdom. You may not have heard of the... It was probably Dano? Like, remember the Pokemon? <laughs> the Dano... Nitches? <laughs> but you may have heard of its cousin, the Velociraptor. Really? Both were predators distinguished by their frighteningly huge toe claws. They also like we had feathers. The main difference between them? Size. This thing it was about seven feet tall and weighed 160 pounds. Little Velociraptor on the other wing it was a compact two feet tall and weighed only about 33 pounds. I've heard that people meeting celebrities are often surprised at how short they are in person. <laughs> so does that mean the ones in Jurassic Park are these instead? We can sell that. Don't want to scare anything away, you know? I can't... Uh... I have, I have an idea for the fossils, to put them on either side of the dock. I was like, what am I doing? Yes! So I have an idea. Actually, at, so at one point I did think of being an animator, but, you know. It was more about, like, source filmmaker, as him on draw. <laughs> like, learning art, that's like, 
That's too much for me, I think. Oh, Kevin, you're supposed to be doing your schoolwork, you idiot. <laughs> Oops. I never know how to spell this word. <laughs> I'm always like, wait, is it really like that? I think so. I <laughs> I have not really uh, used that. If I'm being honest. All right. Let me, wait. It's like 5:30. I can I can probably donate the bugs and then end stream. Oh, on brand. Smiley face. <laughs> oh, wait a second. This is, no, this isn't on brand. No, this is supposed to be in the Arctic, not Antarctic. No, 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 that's no, it's not on brand. <laughs> put it in storage for now I'll, I'll think about what to do with that later but mostly it's just because i want to get these donations done with uh we did the bugs and i really didn't catch a whole lot of unique fish did i eh, you know maybe just because it's two rows it doesn't look like a whole lot but in reality it is we spit everything yes Is there a North Pole in this game? That'd be great. I just put it in the dead center of the island, wherever that is. Oh wait, we're not going to Nook's Cranny. Eventually it's gonna be impossible to see. Is that a big fish? Eventually it's gonna be impossible to see anything on this island. Nice or uncool. <laughs> Oh, I already donated the bitterling and black bass. Okay. He's not going to be scared all the time. It's like actually kind of refreshing, honestly. Boy, are a variety of carp bred for their color mutations starting more than a thousand years ago. Wait, who bred them? <laughs> Well, one glance at their impressive coloring tells you that the centuries of effort were worth it. Even today, people still selectively breed koi in search of new color combinations. That's pretty cool. One marvels at the thought of what the koi may look like in another thousand years. You know, breeding is a topic that always seemed interesting to me, you know? And you know, everyone will make the joke, haha, human sex, but it's 2020, guys. Not every word has to be about sex anymore. That's what I'm trying to uh, achieve here. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe I should make that one of my themes. Goldfish are so cute and delicate. But do you know how big they can get? Or they can grow up to a foot in length. Well, sometimes. If, if only I had the webcam on, then uh, I could show you what a foot is. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only person on this planet who can't visualize any length at all. Not even like an inch, but uh, you know, it would help me out. Well, sometimes the size of the tank they're kept in tends to restrict their growth. Really? Just how big will this goldfish get in our large museum tank? 
That'd be cool if they made it a foot. Like, how can a fish stop its growth? Like, that's what it sounds like it said, you know? It's like, you know, it's like you can't say the word ball without thinking, oh, you know, are people going to make a joke about sex? You know, I'm sick of it. The bluegill is incredibly common, a bit too common, depending upon where you are. They eat anything that fits in their mouths. <laughs> so they're like dogs, huh? And are highly adaptable. The bane of fishermen in some areas, bluegill, are often the only fish to be caught. But looking in its wee beady eyes, I must say, I see no ill will in it. Can you not eat bluegill? That's what it sounds like. I mean, you probably can eat bluegill, but it's probably not very good. Hey, I've been in Pesdi. I don't know if uh, maybe Pesdi was here before <laughs> with the fucking think thing. I didn't say hi. Do you know that the olive flounder is the same shape as other fish when it hatches? But as it grows, it gets both wider and flatter and can reach some three feet long. These flat fish spend much of their lives buried under the sandy ocean floor waiting for prey to happen by. Imagine the surprise for said prey when they strike. It'd be as if you're... Yeah, why can I not read? Maybe it's because the text is so big. It would be as if your kitchen floor were to bite you. There you have it. It's like, uh... What is it? What's the... I guess you would call it Galarian Sunfisk, huh? I thought it had, like, an actual name. But not really. Dab! Is he gonna say something about dabbing? Like, probably not. Dab is a flatfish that bears some resemblance to the olive flounder, but their mouths are different. Personally, I am morbidly fascinated by each fish's eye placement. Dab's eyes are both on its right side, while the olive flounders are on the left. These fish spend lots of time lying on their sides in the sand, so the odd eye placement makes some sense. But it's... how can I put this? Creepy? Viscerally disturbing? Roundly upsetting to fans of symmetry? <laughs> Are you posting the Doom Eternal essay? <laughs> I think it's a bit more than an essay, huh? Red Snapper is the common name of dozens of fish species. I wonder why it's so popular. Are there so many types of fish that are both a shade of red and have a tendency to snap? Are there no other names? What about Burgundy Biter? Garnet Grasper? Puce Pincher? <laughs> I feel like the faces don't match Blather's uh, reactions half the time. Hard knife claw. Hard knife jaw, also called the striped beak fish, is a lovely fish with a distinctive stripe striped pattern. I was gonna say distinctively, and then that tripped me up. It's reportedly also a very curious fish, and it has been known to approach swimmers to greet them. They also tend to get good at avoiding fishing hooks, so well done on outwitting this one. That's pretty cool, like a friendly fish. I thought you were going to talk about how it has a knife jaw. The anchovy games. There are more than 140 species of anchovy, but they do all have something in common. They are all small and feed by simply swimming with their mouths open to filter food particles from the sea. In my sleepier moments, I sometimes wish I could do that. They're like whales. Well, whales with baleen. Stir 
storage it fits in there. Sturgeon is a large and long-lived river fish which has changed little in the last 300 million years. One curious behavior of theirs is leaping high out of the water and falling back in on their sides. The smacking sound of their re-entry can be heard up to half a mile away, likely more underwater. No one knows why they do it, but I like to think it's their impression bread popping out of a toaster. No one knows why they do it? Maybe they just do it for fun, but like, do they hunt? Because if they hunt, that would kind of be a problem, right? So half a mile away. I mean, I know they're big, but that's wild. <laughs> Smack! I like cheese. Smack! Must be a cherry salmon. If my uh, thing is right, you can't catch a cherry salmon and a salmon at the same time. They're like in different months. Cherry salmon is related to the salmon. It is known for its distinctive pattern of polka dots. These polka dots disappear as they mature, <laughs> like my freckles when I was a kid, but only in the fish of certain geographic areas. Pity the poor researchers that must make sense of the cherry salmon's fickle fashion sense. I think that's everything. Feathers. You have nothing. Alright, perfect. Is there anything else I wanted to do? Excuse me. Uh, donate plant flowers. Villagers. I have to, I have to get villagers. Honestly, I might, uh... I might just go to islands off stream. I don't want to, but something run away but like you know eventually i'm gonna have to start going to islands off stream so and i've already seen what a lot of the islands look like from twitter and stuff anyway but we'll see i'm probably actually gonna be playing monster hunter for like the rest of the day so uh i probably won't even do that One more thing to donate. <laughs> the citrus longhorn beetle. Do you want me to go to the bugs? I didn't actually sort. I sorted the fish so all the ones that I can catch are at the top, but uh, I did not sort the bugs. Wait, whose last name is Parrot? Maybe off stream I'll get more wood and twigs and stuff though. And maybe actually de-weed my thing. Or re-weed it. Who knows? And then I will I will end stream. <laughs> right after this. Parent and gobble. Is <laughs> it gobble? Honestly, that's a bit more unfortunate of a last name, I think. Like, if your last name is Parent, but then you don't marry anyone. Do you think that person, like, had that weighing on them? Like, they were like, I have to marry. You know, stupid reason to marry, but some people feel the need to do stuff like that. It'd be like, <laughs> no, it wouldn't be like if I was like, oh, I gotta be a smith. I, got, I gotta, I gotta get smacking some iron. Smacking some iron. Citrus longhorn beetle is a putrid pest and a grave threat to trees. Adults possess powerful jaws and use them to chomp through hard wood and plant fibers with ease. The little larvae are no better, boring bullet-like holes into innocent trees with gusto. Citrus trees, especially. Vicious and vile. So that's why it shows up on stumps, probably. I already did all the hard work for it. Now all it has to do is just go through the rings. All right. Oh yeah, it's like, it's almost 5.45 and takes me like 20 minutes to get there. So I'm leaving right now. Thank you for coming out, but I will not leave you without seeing if there's anyone who I can raid here. Uh, Shay, Shay May, who's uh, he's not really a friend of mine, but <laughs> I say not really, he's not a friend of mine, I guess, but 
he did the like nine hour long Omega Ruby review and the Sonic Spitball series on YouTube. Like, he's playing Animal Crossing right now. So, oh wait, it's, it's Shame underscore, right? Shame underscore. Let me just double check in case I'm not rating someone else. So, yeah, thanks for coming out, and I will probably be back tomorrow. So, goodbye. Oh, wait, hold on. Also, <laughs> I have a YouTube. Still not doing anything on it yet. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm streaming this game on Twitch.tv. So, come stop by and chat. And also Twitter. I'm always on Twitter. So, there we go.